All right, guys, out doing a review on the Sugaling 2.1 uh, meter travel rod. It's a uh, rated, I think it's 3.5 to 14 grams, 15 grams, something in the lines of that. And um, got a fair few requests there on the Instagram about it, so we're going to give it a good review. Very comfortable rod in the hand. I had it out last week there with um, my Acara reel and uh, was very impressed with it. Very fast action on it, soft rod though. So I want to see uh, what it'll be like if we actually hook into a fish to be able to set the hook properly or that. But uh, so far, so good. And I'm starting off with this guy. So the x one Swammer, uh, Mega Swammer, 5.5 um, inch. So we're gonna try him there for a while. Uh, have a five gram jig head put into him. So it was nice to find one big enough there that'll go into it. And uh, we'll try a few of the slacks out here now. The rivers, after getting a bit of speed there, back up into it. It's after rising a tiny bit there with the rain over the last few days. Hadn't got much rain at all, but after putting a nice current on it. So we'll target a few of the slacks if we can. Fingers crossed we catch something, and if not sure, at least we'll get the feel for the rod. Right, let's go to it. Right, so a couple of nice little slacks here in front of me. A real big one. Hopefully we'll get a pike quick enough now. The trigger on this rod is absolutely brilliant. It's better than some of the more expensive rods I have. Just very comfortable in the hand. The trigger, the reel, everything just sits real nice together. Just gonna let it sink down out there now. Lovely slack here in front of me. You can really feel the tail working uh, on that lure. So it's going to be throwing off a nice bit of vibration. If there is one around, he'll know it's there. Has to be a pike in this slack though. Absolutely lovely looking water here. I'm not a fan of dead baiting or anything. I get bored doing it pretty quick. But uh, I might have to come down along here and try it out. If we don't get anything on the lures. It's absolutely dead here it is along the margin. Just give a cast up to it. The rod is lovely, even a one-handed little flick like that. Really impressed with it. 28 euro I think it was. 28 for the rod, 28 I think something like that for the reel. I may look it up. If I think it's any good I'll put um oh man. If I think it's any good, I'll put up um, a few links in the description. One handed flick there out. So happy with that too. Very comfortable in the hand. Nearly killed myself on my net. Uh, someone was down after a pike, alright. There's a, there's a float, I say a full set up. We'll see, can we get it out? Oh, it was only the float, but sure, it's a good float, we'll keep it. Set up for whenever I do want to come down. Happy days. Free tackle. Right, there's two big reed beds in front of me out here. One to the left, one to the right. Hopefully, I can see the tops of some of them. I'm hoping it's not the whole way along now. When the summer comes, it actually spreads the whole way up along. It's unfishable there on that far side. You'd never know there could be a pike in between them here. Lovely slack all up to me right now in a minute. I'm really enjoying cast Ooh. Don't know what that was. I'm really enjoying um casting out this rod. It's nice in the hand. So that's a plus. The reel is very comfortable in the hand too, here where you're palming it and even the, the knobs here are very, very... Oh man, I'm cutting weed. I'm going to lose everything. What the hell did I just pull up out of the river? A fucking tree. Oh no, thought I lost everything. Thank God. I won't be casting there again. <laughs> I struck into that and... Uh, a branch, I don't know if you can see it on the far side, came off floating. But, uh, yeah, the trigger, everything, real nice. 
just one handed little flick there. It's grand. I just want to set it now into a fish. I might put on something even a bit smaller just to off chance get a nice perch along the side or something. I just want to set it into something now. Lovely little guy, says he had it swallowed he had. But uh delighted to get him now on that rod. We won't keep him out too long now and we'll just slip him back. We have to catch fish. Alright guys, absolutely raging there where I seen uh, the video died. The camera just died off uh, right as I struck into the fish. Good, but sure what can you do? I was out for about three, three and a half hours I'd say when that happened, so just wasn't paying attention to the battery on the camera. But uh, anyway. It's a video about the review of this rod not catching fish. The trigger on that rod, as I said, I said it a few times now, is absolutely lovely. Real nice, um, real comfortable in the hand no matter which way you hold it. Great plus for the rod. That reel, I'll put a description down below for that straight away because I can't really fault that reel. Absolutely, it's a gorgeous looking reel. I don't know if you can see it there with the light. I'm up in my attic there um, just setting up the place there. But, um, Gorgeous looking reel, the brakes do everything they're meant to do, the tension uh, does everything it's meant to do with the tension knob. Um, it's a little bit on the loud side, but if that's all I have to complain about, it, I'm delighted with it. So it does everything it's meant to do, the drag, everything, perfect. So as I said, I'll put a link down in the description for that. The rod, nice fast action tip on it there, so there is, bounces back quick enough, if I don't break it off the other side. And... It's a soft rod. I wouldn't be going swinging mad lures or anything around with it. But it's only rated at 3.5 to around 14.5, 15 grams. On the rod, it's uh, done in ounces. I'm not an ounce guy, so I just looked it up in uh, grams to see what it is. And it's nice. I was firing that lure that you seen was an X1 Mega Swammer. So they're 5.5 inch, nice little bit of weight in it. And I had a 5 gram jig head on it. So altogether, you were probably talking around the 15 grams there, I'd say anyway, could be even a bit more. But I was swinging that across the river, no problem at all, no problem to the rod. I even put on a mini Marius mouse there and I put on, I think it was an eight gram um, clip on weight. So I was really up there, probably 30 grams or more. Now I really had to put a bit of effort into casting that out with the rod, but I was getting out the weight of the river there as well. So. I handled it well, I was able to fish it well in the water, so if anyone is out there and you're looking for a cheap little setup, it is a nice setup for fishing light tackle for pike, you can fish for perch with it, it's a real real nice uh, soft uh, rod so you'll be able to catch and feel, uh, catch perch, feel small lures, 3 grams, uh, 3.5 grams is a small enough lure so you're going to catch perch on it, so I definitely would recommend it, um, I had one gripe with the rod and this is the only gripe, so that'll tell you. Just the butt action, the butt there on it. I don't know if you can see it with the light in the attic here. Um, it's sort of a hard plastic and when I was doing a double handed cast, I don't know how I done it two or three times. If you can see the bottom, it's all jagged. Just the design on it and two or three times. They're not sharp or anything, but sort of when I was letting go of that, sort of caught my hand. And uh, you can feel it. But that's the, the only gripe I have with that rod, so yeah. Very impressed with it, definitely recommend it. I'll drop a link for the two of them down below in the description. Hopefully some of you has looked them up and uh, get great enjoyment out of them. And uh, that's it really. But guys, I have a lot of rods, a lot of reels that I don't use. This is going to be one of them now. I don't know if I'll use it much, bring it out there for a bit of fun. But uh, as the channel gets a little bit bigger now, I'm going to start giving away these rods. Um, I'm going to keep buying a few ones here and there off AliExpress fishing with them, testing them out, seeing what I think of them, if I recommend them and that, if I recommend them I'm going to give them away, if I don't I'm going to bend them, simple as, there's no point uh, giving out something that you don't think is any good, but uh, yeah stay tuned for that and um, yeah when, as I said when the channel gets a bit bigger 
I'll review a few of these rods and then I'll do a little giveaway um, post them out to whoever wins them or whoever wants them. I don't know what way I'm going to do it yet. But uh, as you can see, I'm in my attic. I'm setting it all up here now at the moment. Going to do a nice background there. Uh, probably get my logo done and nuts about fishing. I'm going to set up uh, the rest of it here. A nice little table. Be able to do reviews and proper reviews and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, this channel or this uh, video went on a little bit long. So we'll cut it off there, guys. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.